Okay, this is the mark scheme for the paper I posted earlier. Question one, property of x less than 342 works out to be uh, 0.8849. Property of x uh, less than 288 is 0.0082. And uh, question three, property of x between 300 and 350. You can see how I worked it out. I separated it and then worked it out. It works out to be 0.9034. Question two, so you add all the k's and uh, that works out to be 34k equals to one, so k is one over 34, and then you work out the expected value using the formula. For the variance, you use sum of x squared over n minus mu squared, so you can work it out, guys. And then uh, you get the variance to be 7.88 for the variance of 3 minus uh, 2x is 4 times the variance of x which is 31.5 question 3 uh, so you work out first of all you work out sxy and then b is equal to sxy over sxx which is minus 0.0333 y bar equals to a minus 0.0333 x bar and then you work out your y bar and x bar and work out um, a which is 6.023 and y is equal to 6.023 minus 0.0333 x just to get in terms of f and m you put f minus 100 and m minus 50 instead of uh, x and y and uh, you get the equation there and then to get uh, the f when m equals to 335 you just plug it in I'm going to go through very fast, guys, so you can read through the steps, okay, for the solutions. Okay, question four is a probability question, so they're independent, so that means probability of D times probability of W equals probability of D and W, and that works out to be 0, 0.5.76. So what I did is I just completed the Venn diagram. So probability of D given W is 0 0.0576 over 0 0.9, well, it's actually 0 0.576, it should be. Be 0.0576 here. Okay. No, it's correct actually, it should be 0.576, so this is 0.576 as well. Yeah, the answer is correct anyway. Okay, question 5. Uh, so you work out the mean, that's the GCSE question, you work out the uh, median. You don't even need to do linear interpolation because ninth value is exactly on the 170. And you work out the interquartiles. Uh, you work out Q1 and Q3, and then quartile range is 23 centimeters. And then here you work out the standard deviation using the formula as shown. And then finally, it's a positive skew. So that's question five. And the last question is a bit of a long one, but it's actually doable. Okay, so the probability of x greater than 1700 is 0.7, x less than 1100 is 0.2. So what I did is I got two equations. I made mu the subject, make the rest of the equation equal to each other. So you get sigma equal to 1891 pounds and 55 pence, and mu equals to 2691 and 93 pence. And then to get the... Uh, probability between uh, 1500 and 2500 you do look exactly like this and you get 0 0.1959 so that is 19.59 percent okay and then question three uh, so we don't know the new mean the standard division remain the same so you just uh, follow the step like this and then you just uh, get the answer the new mean is 2991 and 93 pence Okay guys, good luck for tomorrow. I hope this helped. Uh, I might be posting uh, C3T4 and also an M1 and M2 paper later on.